You damn right it's a Daphnis video. You damn right it's a Daphnis video. He has waited long enough. This boy has waited long enough for a video of people actually using Daphnis has finally made his way into the meta. Bagel, was it really that big of a deal? Yes, it really was that big of a deal for him to get a defense break, and here's why. When we are, if you've been living under a rock, welcome to Summoner's War. Here's how you kill things. Strip, defense break, and nuke. So Daphnis always had the nuke. Great, he still needed a lot of setup. Strip and a defense break uh, to do that nuke. Then he got the strip, which kind of was good, but also strip and then a nuke, but you need a defense break in the middle, because... What? But, but game, you need a defense break. But now, he has a strip, a defense break, and a nuke all in the same skill. So, he can one-shot things. He's kind of like Oberon, except that he can still get resisted, but also he can strip things that uh, have invincibility or that have a shield, whereas Oberon cannot do that. He has to eat through the shield or he, the invincibility completely shuts him down. So, Daphnis doesn't need to worry about those two things, but of course he does have the accuracy resistance check, so you can get resisted. He has to strip, then he has to defense break, both of those have a resistance check, and then he nukes and kills things, partially himself. So how do we ruin Daphnis? Um, few things. Daphnis would be better in speed tuning to go, um, if you're gonna ruin him, like, as a, like, speed crit damage, I think he needs high speed, right? He needs high speed. Um, speed and crit damage, and then you can either go attack or you can go HP. Uh, HP, if you have something else moving behind him, doing that little extra fluff damage after that, because it might, you know, just in case it might not kill. Uh, you can ruin him to go speed tuned before your Ciara, even if you're going to use him with Ciara. You could ruin him to go speed tuned after your Bastet, right? So let's say, for example, you have a, a, a Ciara, Bastet, Daphnis. What happens? Ciara, uh, speed lead with Ciara speed lead, Bastet moves first. Uh, increase the attack power, Daphnis moves next, he strips, he defense breaks, he nukes, if he doesn't finish it off, CR can come in with the bomb, I mean you probably won't even need that, but you got extra stuff anyway, you might uh, maybe bring a second stripper with there, uh, and take something else out, but, um, yeah, very, very nice, you could just you f forget the CR, you could just come in with Bastet and Daphnis and Bastet attack power buff, and oh, why now? Lumos, I'd like to raid with you. Why now? I need the raid too. Uh, but Bastet, just Bastet, attack power buff, and come in with Daphnis, strip, defense break. Oh, you know, yeah, okay, let's just, you know what, let's just see some battles, and then let's see some how, uh, let's see some runes, how people are ruining the Daphnis uh, since this new buff. I think for the most part we're going to see, I feel like we're probably going to see a lot of swift speed crit damage attacks. Or, uh, speed crit damage HPs, or maybe, like, and then just, like, good speed attack, crit rate, crit damage, accuracy, and maybe some tankiness on there as far as subs, but let's see some matches! For the love of God, Daphnis, it's been long enough. Here we go. Daphnis match number one. Uh, A, V, V, like, A, D, I don't even know my letters, guys. I don't even know. And a segment! And a... <sighs> I guess Daphnis is getting banned this season. G2 versus G2, let's go. Ooh, Light Horus. Hey, Light Horus. Oh, there was someone that asked about the Light Horus. I'm like, I just did a video on the Light Horus. Weird comp on the on the right-hand side. 2 DPS units, bans out the Odin. Ooh, Fairy King versus Fairy King versus Fairy King. He's gotta go for that. He's gotta go for the, uh, yeah, the light one. Boom, boom. Both, that was fast. That's what I wanted to see, Daphnis. That's all I wanted to see. Okay, little Mr. Pokemon. Is that gangster Pokemon? No, not gangster Pokemon. Like, Street Life Pokemon, <laughs> Street Life Pokemon, Street Life Pikachu. Daph, such weird picks. Bans the Daphnis again. Daphnis is getting banned in 2019. Okay, here we go. We have, ooh, Tian Lang too, Tian Lang. And we have, so this is kind of a, that second one is kind of a cleave actually. Second one is kind of a, not, it's kind of like a single target, weird single target cleave. Those crazy Japanese cleaves. Ooh, Hellfire onto the segment. The segment of all things though, because he had the immunity. So I don't know if he really needed the segment. This Tion Lang's Reckon though. Perna couldn't, couldn't break through the shield. Couldn't break through the shield. That's a tanky, uh, tanky Fire Lich. Does he go after? 
Okay, confiscate. How, what was the attack age on that Perna like, though? Increased cool time. So that's gonna kill. That's gonna kill this Perna. That's gonna kill this Perna. If the Perna doesn't doesn't get another, another turn, Perna's dead. That's a dead Perna. I I, I like those single target cleaves. Like it's usually like you see them with like um, Garrow Village will bast it XX. But now I guess uh, I guess that misses part of that. Detective Pikachu, here we go. Uh, Odin fr first pick Odin. Well, that's kind of says exactly what you're gonna pick. Daphnis and a Ragdoll bans the Ragdoll. Bans the uh, well, bans the Juno because there's so many buffs. There's so many buffs. That's why they had to ban the Juno. They gotta go for that Odin first, don't they? Goes for the Odin first. Poops out a giant thirty thousand plus damage on there. Comes back. He wasn't fully stacked, so he doesn't come back with a whole lot. Odin's down again, though. Easy, uh, easy Odin nuke. Daphne's got so many bu Oh my god, Daphne has so many buffs. So many, so many, so many buffs. So he's gotta go for- he's going for the Perna now? I thought he was- I thought he was gonna do some more fluff damage onto that, uh, onto that Daphne. I mean, not, not that Daphne, the Odin to get him down again. I think he just wanted the attack power break on uh, on Perna and then going for the Odin again. That shield though. More tankiness to keep the death. I like the tankiness to keep Daphnis alive. I really do. Ah, didn't get it, didn't get it, didn't get it, didn't get it. Right? Didn't get the strip defense break. So he just did some fluff damage. I wonder how much... Because Fran's going to move before the Perna. So heals Daphnis to full. Increase. Ooh, bye bye Perna. Very nice. Very nice, very nice. It's kind of an interesting cleave kind of thing. Interesting cleave. I wonder what. I mean, I feel like it would have just been a, like a more long drawn out match if they didn't ban the. Uh, if they banned the Daphnis instead of the Ragdoll, though. Interesting teams, though. Oh my god, I want to see some shenanigans. Actually, DVR Bomber has a. Um, he has a YouTube channel as well. I'm going to. I'm going to bagel. Remember to link it. I always forget to link these things in the comments. Doesn't ban the Daphnis, though. He's got he's got the one-two combo of the Molong Daphnis. Never mind. I was just kidding. He has no combo of the Mo- Oh, never, never, never mind again. Hot damn. It's anti-cleave, though. Is he? Ooh, very nice, very nice, very nice. But of course, Molong doesn't stun anything anymore. Increased cool time. He did not go for the nuke on him. Promise time. Gets the healing music up. And now he's going to go for more turn cycling. And now he's going to finish off with the Daphnis. Boom, boom. And he's on Vampire. He's on Vampire. So he heals some of the uh, some of the damage back. There we go. So is he attack crit? I feel like this is an attack crit damage HP. Um... I mean, he's got a YouTube channel, so I mean, what what better spot to uh, to see if it's a tech or damage HP than DVR than the DVR bomber official YouTube channel? Veljul doing some uh, decent damage. Daphne is taking some debuffs though, some DB DB debuffs. Veljul needs to proc to get some additional turns. Didn't go for the- oh, well, the deafness is asleep anyway, but... Oof. It's closed up. Man, that- that cleave with, like, not a ton- is- is Veljul? Oh, I wanted to see that deafness survive, though. I wanted to see that deafness survive. This is still game, though. This is still game, because that CR is gonna- yeah, that CR is gonna come in. Nice, though. Very- a uh, really solid, uh, G3 player, though, that they were fighting against as well. This one seems interesting. I like this. This so it's the second team that's got the Daphnis. The first team's coming in with uh, gross, annoying things and more gross, annoying things and more gross, annoying things. Second team's coming in with bans the. Da Why is everyone banning Daphnis? Okay, let's see this one. Let's see this one. True Whale against True Whale's got some OP stuff. I mean, obviously True Whale. You <laughs> oh, hold on, True Whale, Whale and Light Dark Nat Fives doesn't see a Daphnis ban. See Skogel, Skogel. Actually, you know what? I've used Skogel against Ragdoll Artemis before. That's not even that crazy. Well, maybe, maybe it is, but Bagel's also crazy. Um, doesn't get the Daphnis. 
Daphnis comes in and destroys everything in the universe. Not really, though. Atlas Stone. Flaming up. Does this finish, uh, does this finish off? It didn't, it didn't kill the, uh, he, he didn't get that, per the, uh, the Fran down, though. The first time. Is this a Bruiser Daphnis? Or is this a... I wanted to see how much damage he did. I could, I could have seen more. Hey, he's kind of like in between. He's, he seems like an in betwixt. He seems like a dead. He seems like a dead Daphnis. Please tell me this Skogel Rex face. Please tell me this. You know, I know Daphnis died, but please tell me this Skogel Rex face. I just want to see this Skogel Rex face. Please, I just want to see Skogel do amazing things. Hold on, is that gonna take down Amelia? Is that gonna take down Amelia? Please tell me Skogel takes down Amelia. Please tell me Skogel. Oh, takes down Amelia. Uh oh. Uh oh. Does she get another prop? Oh, delayed promise. <sighs> Atlas Stone, the next time you move, GG. The next time you move, GG. Oh! Oh, <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. I don't give a, I don't care. I don't give a hoot if this was a Daphnis or a Skogel or anything. Yo, I know it's- I know Daphnis is not in here right now, but can we just say that I love Skogel right now? Can we just say that anything that you take into get- to- to- to Artemil Ragdoll and just do it, do it, do it, just finish, finish him, finish flawless victory. Oh god, I'm a little too excited. Dude, come on. I've done that before. I see that's what I had attempted to do when I did that. I took the Skogel into Artemil Ragdoll and I was like, I gotta watch me do this and put it on YouTube and be like, nope, that didn't work. That it didn't it didn't work when I did it. It worked when when he did uh, when he or she did it. You never know with these profile pictures. Like could be a picture of the person that's playing. Could be a random picture that they found on the internet somewhere. Who even knows? It, whoever the Chinese player is though, you made work what I had intended. To make work. Love it. 10 out of 10. Very nice. Love it. Did I mention 10 out of 10? Very nice. Everyone's got a ragdoll. Everyone in Guardian has a ragdoll. Has like Dark Nat 5 of some kind. <laughs> Don't they? Okay, so Daphnis. Daphnis did not get banned. Who did they go for first? Who did they go for first? They always try to kill the death. See, this is why maybe... If you can't get... Like, if you're bringing ragdoll and you're like, I'm gonna go second. Like, I feel like he would need to be a bruiser. I feel like the Daphnis would need to be a bruiser in that situation. Otherwise, this happens. That's why this is when you put like if you if you if you're if you've got the ragdoll thing, you're like I'm going second. Unless you're picking like double swift units, like with a Bastet, Bastet Daphnis, uh, you can go squish. But ragdoll Daphnis, you need to go. You need to go hybrid bruiser. Yeah, you need to go hybrid bruiser. Looking pretty savage. Looking pretty savage so far. I like that picture on the right, whatever that is. Uh, Daphnis ban- NO Daphnis ban! Hallelujah, there's no Daphnis ban! Hallelujah! There's so many Daphnis ban- Okay, uh... Touch of well that's one way of taking her down. Gets the strip defense break and nuke on Fran, and this is 27k. That's all she wrote. I didn't even know Fran was an author. Uh, but that's all she- but that's all she wrote! That's all she wrote. So not even going for... The, um, got the provoke. As soon as he gets a turn, he's gonna. <laughs> Daphnis overwhelms. Wait, did he, did, did he get the, uh, he, oh, he must have, he must have gotten it. He must have gotten it. And now she's gonna get the shield. But that's why he, that's why he did the, uh, the skill too. He was, that's why he was trying to hold off on the CC until Daphnis did the cooldown reduction so that she wouldn't steal a turn, get the shield. Increase cool time again. Don't worry, Ganymede's there to ventilate it. Okay, well, that was a kind of preemptive give up. Uh, unless it didn't show the whole match, but uh, but there we go. There's there's another one. Okay, G3 versus G1. We have Gany Juno, first picks. We have all support units. We have a Daphnis on the other side. All support units and... A, uh, and a Verad. I was gonna say a Verdi Heal. It's not, it's not a Verdi Heal. It's not a Verdi Heal. Okay, we have the Hellfire immediately! Immediately onto Ganymede. Destroys- Oh no, he doesn't destroy! He doesn't destroy a damn thing! A damn 
wait, kind of just still did a lot of damage to get me. Should have should have maxed out slot one. Should max that slot one. Okay, absolute zero. Gets every does not get the proc. Does not get the proc. Does Daphnis finish the job? Oh, oh, Dragon's Dance. Does he? St he stuns everyone. He stuns everyone. But don't worry, Juno is almost. I can't even talk that fast. GG. Daphnis almost took out the Ganymede straight away. So Daphnis was probably very, very fast. I mean, Daphnis was definitely very, very fast. But was that was that a swift Daphnis? That was a very, very fast Daphnis. Either way, it was very, very fast Daphnis. Like speed crit damage attack, very, very fast. Daphnis battle number four million. What do we have here? There's no Daphnis yet. There's the Daphnis. There's the ban. <laughs> I think Daphnis is getting banned more than Ragdoll today, I really- Let's find out! We got a Ragdoll, we got a Daphnis! Let's see if Ragdoll gets banned, and let's see if Daphnis gets banned! Neither gets banned! Never mind, Bagel's wrong, and also stupid. Hellfire immediately onto Helena, and almost kills her! Does he follow it up with anything, though? He does not follow it up with anything. Like, with, as far as DPS. As far as DPS. He really thought he was going to take that Helena out. Ooh, the crit though. The crit. This poor old Daphnis. This poor little Daphnis. What is that team? Any Like, that team is... There's a lot of fire on that team. You know what? The Laika can't get one shot though. The Laika can't get one shot by the Ragdoll. And, uh, I don't... Actually, yeah, and the Laika kind of counters Diana. Counter Diana, I can't get one shot by. Forget Daphnis meta. This is the Leica meta, baby. This is the Leica meta. How are you gonna kill that Leica? I'm really curious now. I'm really curious. This is the good old Leica meta. Hoping to take some damage from that uh, Fengen. Actually, I think he's trying to get the damage so he can start ignoring defense. I mean, how is he gonna take out that Leica? How is he gonna take out that Leica? <laughs> Torrent, ignore defense. How is he gonna take out this Leica though? How is he gonna take out this Leica? I know I keep saying that, but how is he gonna take out this? <laughs> how is he gonna take out the Rakan? Okay, well, we found out how to uh, how to beat. Ragdolls is just what the I don't even understand like that team is just such a weird looking team. Daphnis, Laika, Rakan, Feng Yan against Ragdoll and beats Ragdoll. I'm learning new things every day. G1 versus G3. Please tell me. Please tell me that Daphnis first off does not get banned. I love the fruits, and I love tomato. 2,000 points! <laughs> Daphnis banned Ragdoll, but Daphnis is at that level, guys. Daphnis is at that level. He has, he has arrived. Daphnis is at the level of Ragdoll. Equal power levels. Ban Ragdoll, ban Daphnis. Last match. Who better to end it with than to just did I know tomato had a TL mic? Maybe he just wasn't using him and now he's using him now. So bans out the Triana of all things bans out tri uh, Nat 4, right? Of all things gets resisted. Daphnis goes through gets resisted, but I have a feeling that he's got the one two combo of One two combo of Akari's of course he's got a speed to incur and that's actually a nice way to heal Daphnis back up. It's a nice way to heal Daphnis back up. Okay, so, uh, Artemiel, Artemiel started to stack. Artemiel started to stack. That Ciara is not super duper tanky, is she? She's not super duper tanky, because wasn't that like 6,000, or is she like defense tanky? Actually, she's, hold on, is she defense tanky? I feel like she's defense tanky instead of HP tanky, right? Does it seem like that? GG on the Mo Long. There's just so much ignore defense that that Artemiel couldn't really do too much. Ooh. 
I like that. I like that. Okay, guys, end of the video. What did we learn? We learned that Daphnis is so scary now that people are just banning Daphnis a lot. I don't know if I even included all the bans, like, in the video, but holy crap. Daphnis got banned- while I'm recording, Daphnis got, Daphnis got banned, like, 15 times. He, he just got banned so, 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 so much. <laughs> it's like, okay! Um, yeah, uh, Daphnis is really usable RTA unit now. I know people are testing him, people are like, oh, we're, we're testing him out. Um, so of course you're gonna see him not used as much after, like, this week. He's not gonna be used- or maybe he might be used more, I don't know. But I feel like ev after the balance patch, people always want to try out the new units. But I still feel like this guy's... He's definitely become more usable. People have used him a little bit in Guardian level. Just because the ones who combo with Mo Long. Uh, Mo Long or Akari's or other things like that. Or like Odin or all these different things. But, uh, but now he's going to be... Now he's going to be used more because he's basically got one shot potential. So... I wanted to show some Daphnis builds as well, not just be like, that's it, goodbye. So here's a first Daphnis, but speed crit damage attack. Uh, and it's uh, fast, fast star. What is that? That's a, that's, there's a, you can get runes under a six star? Really? Really? So here's one. I think we can find better though. Let's find some better ones. Okay, here's a nice one. I like this. By the way, I'm on Japan server right now. Um, so these are all uh, built on some of, the, some of the better players on Japan server. So let's see. Speed, crit damage, attack. Very rune efficient. I really like this one. This is a beautiful Daphnis. This is a because he's got decent enough to, uh, attack power. He's got good speed. He's got good crit rate. His accuracy is not suffering that much. I mean, of course, we want good accuracy, but it's really hard to get all the stats on Daphnis. This is a solid Daphnis. He's got a lot of stats overall. His crit rate isn't suffering either, so mm, that's a nice. I like this Daphnis. I like this Daphnis. Swift, he doesn't need to have to be on Swift Will. Just the amount of stats that are necessary to make a really good Daphnis, it's kind of... It's it's re it's actually pretty hard to make a really really good Daphnis. Uh, <laughs> never even thought I'd be talking about ruining Daphnis, let alone making a really good Daphnis. But this one looks I really like this one. I really like this one. He could be faster though. He's gonna have to sacrifice something else if he wants to be faster. But this is a good. This is a pretty solid overall Daphnis. Okay, so here's another build for Daphnis. I feel like I mean he's he's there. He's a DPS. This is a DPS Daphnis. He just happens to have some good uh, HP and subs. But you can see if his HP was higher, then he would be like kind of a hybrid. But this is just a... Okay, so he's Vampire. This one's Vampire. He still feels like I want him to be faster. Because if at this speed, I kind of feel like he needs more HP. He needs to be more, more of a hybrid, right? So attack or damage attack, though. Not bad runes. Very nice uh, runes, actually. Really good uh, rune quality. But, I just wonder if, at a, at a lower speed, he should be tankier. In, that's, that's just my feelings on it. At lower speed, he should be tankier. Here's another one. I'm not... I like a few things. Like, I like that there's like kind of like a hybrid tanky bruiser Daphnis. But also, Curate is only 53%. Accuracy, 37. You can't get mad about like the not stripping defense breaking with 37% accuracy. And he's also, he's a little on the slower side, which I don't love. So he's on Vampire Nemesis, and I wonder if they tried so much to put him on Vampire that they sacrificed overall stats, that if they could, if they, maybe if they put him on something else and just went for stat value, they could have had him on um, higher, uh, faster and more damage and more crit rate and more accuracy and been more efficient, but just not healed. So, Vampire Nemesis, though. I mean, it's a trade-off that you need to decide if you want to make. I'm just, I think I would ruin him a little bit more on the, the faster, higher crit rate, trying to get that, get, like, trying to kill, because if he doesn't strip and defense break and crit, then he's not really going to do too much. So this is an even worse Daphnis. I know I'm not- I know I'm supposed to be showing good Daphnises. This is an even worse Daphnis. What does he have here? Speed, crit damage, attack. Okay, and it's all grinded and stuff like this. With the 43% crit rate, he's not tanky enough to take hits. He's not gonna be able to crit and kill things. He's got good accuracy. I'll give him that, he's got good accuracy, but... Too low speed, too low crit rate. If the speed is that low- the speed shouldn't even be that low. But if the speed is that low, you need to bump up the HP a ton. This is very rune, 
not yummy. Rune not yummy daftness. I mean, you look at it, it's got grinds and stuff like that, but that doesn't make it, like, defense plus 33%. That, like, no. 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 This daftness is lacking. Last one. It's actually been really hard to find decently runes daftnesses. I mean, it may, you know, now that I say that, I kind of understand why. Uh, because no one was really using him before the patch. But here's another one. I like this. He's fast. He's got good crit rate. The accuracy is a little bit low. But he's at least got... He's got HP. He's got attack power. Most importantly, he's got, like, speed. I wish the accuracy was higher. But this is even broken sets. This is even just broken sets. Speed crit damage attack just on what... This is not even uh, upgraded too much, so... Could be much better. I feel like you can even go faster with the Daphnesses on these. I would like to see, like, a little bit more, like, ultimately, a little bit more attack power, more speed, more accuracy. Maybe a little bit more crit damage, though. Because I feel like the, 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 I feel like the Daphnesses need to be fast. Fast, strip, nuke. Fast, strip, nuke. The slower they are, the more HP they need. But I saw a lot of people that were just like, the Daphnesses were like, very mediocre ruined. So, at least, I think, fast and a lot of good stats overall. I would even go fast in this. But anyway guys, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe you guys got something out of it. You're like, oh, maybe I'll try Daphnis now. Maybe. Maybe I will. But anyway guys, uh, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you as always in the next one.